This data was collected as part of the minimally invasive surgery with thrombolysis in intracerebral hemorrhage evacuation clinical trial, MISTI-3, which was supported by a grant from NIH with materials grants from Genentech. ICH, or intracerebral hemorrhage, is a severe subtype of stroke, accounting for 10 to 15 percent of all strokes and 30 percent of all stroke-related deaths. Recovery in intracerebral hemorrhage is often prolonged and unpredictable, resulting in challenges in estimating long-term functional outcomes and disposition in the acute phase. We were interested in learning about the longitudinal recovery in ICH in terms of functional outcome and patient disposition of ICH survivors who, in the acute phase, had clinical factors that contribute to a poor prognosis. There were 506 ICH patients enrolled in MISTI, with 379 survivors at one year. To determine disease severity, we calculated a score using an established severity index to compare ICH survivors with patients who had had withdrawal of life-sustaining treatment, WOLST. Multivariable logistic regression was used adjusting for six pre-specified clinical factors, age, Glasgow Coma Scale, deep ICH location, stability ICH volume, and intraventricular hemorrhage volume. Comorbidities were included to the published severity index as these factors have been described to influence do not resuscitate status in patients with ICH. The resulting Modified Severity Index scores, MSI, could range from a minimum of zero, which is indicative of higher severity, to a maximum of 7.4. Using MSI scores for WOLST and survivors, a matched cohort of poor prognosis survivors was identified. Poor prognosis, as related to functional recovery, was considered to be a modified Rankin score of 4 or 5. Due to variance, a second match between Wolst and poor prognosis survivors was performed using the individual severity coefficients from the multivariable logistic regression model. This res resulted in a final cohort of 104 survivors. The final cohort were then followed for physical recovery and living location at days 30, 180, and 365 following ICH. Physical recovery was evaluated using the modified Rankin score with a Rankin of 0 to 3 considered to be a good outcome. As shown in Figure 1, at day 30, all patients were a Rankin 4 or 5. 40% were still in the acute care facility, 44 had progressed to rehab or home, and 17% were in a long-term care facility. The biggest improvement in Rankin is from day 30 to day 180, as seen in the reduction of patients who were Rankin 5. By day 180, 56% of patients had transitioned home. There is continued improvement at all Rankin levels by day 365. Taking a closer look at day 365 in Figure 2, 69% of patients who, based on disease severity at 30 days, were considered to have a poor prognosis were living at home. Of the 72 patients living at home by day 365, 56% had achieved a Rankin of 0 to 3, which we consider to be a good outcome. Rankin 0 to 3 means that they are independent of activities of daily living, could walk alone or with a walker or cane, and could be left on their own for at least 8 hours a day. In conclusion, our data shows that many ICH patients with clinical factors that suggest poor prognosis, when given time, which may be up to a year, can achieve a favorable outcome and return home. I wish to acknowledge the contributions of my co-authors and to thank the patients involved in MISTI-3, their families, and the investigators and coordinators who cared for them.